Okay, earthly, 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 what's going on today again? I have a few personal readings I'm going to start working on. Just wanted to see if I can tap into your energy to see what's going on with you. Take what you need, leave the rest, okay? So give me more messages for the earthly Virgos today, Saturday. We have the two of wands. This is, your, this is your future talking. Page of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. It's like you're looking at where you are, where you've been, and where you're going. Okay. Yeah, but you're contributing. You're starting to contribute more to your future. You're getting rid of and releasing situations that no longer serve you by just simply walking away, okay? I'm walking away from your stupid ass, okay? I do have the Two of Cups I'm looking at in the Page of Swords, so there could be a relationship with somebody wanting to come back, but we're not going to entertain this because I keep entertaining this past person coming back for you, okay, Virgo? Okay, let's see, what are you doing? It's like you're... It's like you're on the precipice of, of some past energy of what you've been through before and you don't know what's coming for you for your future, okay? It's like you're getting ready to step into your future, your near future. I know it doesn't make any sense, but that's what you're doing. Clarify the Eight of Cups, the Seven of, well, yeah, the Eight of Cups. Where are you headed? See? This is where you're headed. This new pathway is saying, give me all the opportunity you can, Virgo. This is that you're, you're talking to spirit. Spirit is saying, I got this opportunity for you. Let's go. Well, you don't know because we have that moon energy here. You don't know what's coming, but what's coming for you is an ace in the hole. Okay. Ace in the hole. All right, Virgo. Clarify the two of wands. Got an opportunity for a home to travel around the world. But maybe that's something that you've always wanted to do, but you got to leave some people behind. And you're kind of in your head about it. You're not sure if this is the right time. But there's no time like the present. It's like if the more you try to put something off, the longer it's going to take for you to complete it. Okay? So we have the five of swords. The three, I'm sorry, the five of swords, the eight of pentacles, and the three of pentacles. Wow. So you got to talk to some people. Almost The people that you're working with um, may have to put somebody in their place, you know, because you're busy working and doing your thing, but that's after you've been pissed, after a couple of people have pissed you off or whatever, you went off on these motherfuckers, you know, like, I'm back to work, I'm doing my job, I'm not here to be your friend, I'm here to do a job from nine to five or whatever time you're clocking in and out, okay? Um, I'm hearing a Ann Murray song. Okay. I think that's Ann Murray. We got some sorrow here. The Five of Cups. Um, crying over spilled milk. But offering more of yourself to wish fulfillment. Whatever happened in your past, let it go. Because we have a food card here. This food represents you saying that, you know what? I'm going to... I'm just, because of what I've been through, okay, I know what my value is. I know what I can take into another relationship here. We have wish fulfillment and we have the food court, okay? I don't care if this is a situation with a family, with a lover, with whoever, homie, lover, friend, you're headed toward this wish fulfillment too. I want to clarify this, but too, this is some habits that you should be getting out of. Oh, okay. It's the right time. Wait, to, what is it? Hold on. I'm hearing a song, y'all, but it just won't come out. Um, hold on.
Oh, it's the right. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. It's the right time of the night for making love. Okay. I think. Hold on. Hey Siri, who sings the song? It's the right time of night for making love. Right time of the night is Jennifer, Jennifer Warrens. Warrens. Jennifer Warrens. That's the song I'm hearing for some of you all. It's the right time of night for making love. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. We have the Four of Swords. It's like a waiting period for you. The Ace of Wands. So there's going to be the perfect time for you to make love if, if you're feeling lonely or whatever. The stars are shining bright. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Queen of Wands here. Is somebody coming for you or are you willing to open up and receive them? Then we have the King of Pentacles. Are, are you going to be more interested in making money and not love? Okay. Some of you all are headed toward this money situation and you're saying fuck love for now. Not forever, but for now. Okay, some of you all, your income is going to get so much better. But some of you, however you look at it, whether you're making love, or whether you're making money, or both, it's going to be good because we have a will of fortune and an ace of wands. But no matter what you do, you're headed to a wish fulfillment. Got the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, I think a lot of your, your situations are going to get so much better financially. We got the Knight of Wands and, and the, the King of Pentacles. So it's like, this may have been a slow process, but you still have had money in your pocket. You probably may not have had to worry about anything financially. Okay, things are seem, seems to be looking up for you financially. Because you got the Wheel of Fortune and I have the Tower. So you have had something really, really happen in your recent past, but you're moving on from it. You've learned from it and you've done a lot of growing. This is your growth period, okay? That's going to really, really make you stand out for other people to see you, for other opportunities to seek you out with, with blessings, okay? Blessings with this Ace of Wands. But you may be afraid to take it because you figure that you've been up this creek before without a paddle and you've been and been sent back down again to the bottom and you're tired of sinking back down into that dark valley it's not going to be the, it's not going to be the case this time that's why you're so afraid to move forward because you're still holding on to past heartache and pain and issues from your past that you have experienced some of you can't let go of these tower moments that keep happening to you but you gotta move on you gotta move on i'm not going to hold you out with this reading because i'm waiting for a um roadside assistant to come and fix my tire. Hold on. Waiting for roadside assistance to... Okay. Mm. got the five of cups the two of swords and we got the nine of pentacles nine of cups the king of cups you're not going to be sure about anything and we got the star card so you don't see yourself as others see you okay you may be very very hard on yourself because of what you've been through because of what you went through when you were younger or whatever it's kind of hard for you to see your beauty but other people can so that does that make sense you hold on let's clarify hmm. okay. I want to clarify this five of cups for you Virgo I want to clarify what you're crying over here Let them go. It's hard for you to let go of something. If somebody let you go, it's kind of hard for you to, to understand that it was you were let go from this person's life for a reason. So no longer crying over spilled milk. No more crying and holding your head low and thinking that you're not worthy because you are. You have a tendency to probably walk into a room or walk down the street or wherever it is with your head hung low. And you've been doing it so long. That it's just become a habit. That's just a, because of who you are. So you don't really see your true value and your true worth. You got somebody looking at you and saying she is so beautiful. And this person will come to you and tell you how beautiful you are <clears throat> or how handsome and amazing you are. You don't believe them because you don't feel that about yourself. But other people see your beauty and your value more than you ever will because of what you've been through before, Virgo. Hmm. 
spirit wants you to slay them all. Those people who have hurt you, the best thing you can do or the best thing you could have done is walked away from what no longer serves you. Or if that person walked away from you, let them go. I just saw 1010, okay? Like Tyler Perry said in one of his plays, when somebody, you know what he said? If somebody wants to walk out of your life, let them go. And you keep on getting up and doing your thing. No matter what affliction you think you may have with yourself, no matter what is going on with you, you're always much, much more better than you give yourself credit for. People see you, your true value and your true beauty. Your true beauty. How come you can't see it? Okay? Because you keep looking back at what it used to be. But think that think just think if you just let go of the past, what could you possibly have? Everything you've ever wanted. Your family, everything in its totality. All of this perfection, all of this this goodness, all of this wish fulfillment. You can have it. If you just believe that this is something that you deserve. It's like you're hiding behind all of that pain and so much there's so much pain within you that you don't see it when you got it good. Okay? You've earned all of your stripes just by walking away from what no longer serves you or whatever this person who didn't want to deal with you or whatever the situation was, it's over with. They weren't meant to be in your life if they walked away from you. You can be your own knight by talking to yourself, being positive, saying positive things to yourself, saying that you are beautiful, you are worthy, you are number one, okay? Treat your body like the palace that it is. Treat your body like the palace that it is. Who you going to allow to climb up into your attic? Who you going to allow to climb up your, your ladder, the ladder to your perfection, the ladder to your beauty, the ladder to your femininity or masculinity? Who are you going to climb? Who are you going to allow to climb in and slide down that pole, to climb in and climb and climb into that tunnel? You be the boss of that. You be the judge of that. Who is worthy to lay down next to you at night? Who is worthy? To suck of your beautiful greatness. To taste what you have to available to give because it's not for everybody. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. Your fruit juice is not for everybody to taste. Take it how it resonates. There's a lot of people you can't trust. We have this nasty energy here. This person will steal everything, your eyeballs and everything else, even your glory. Do you want this person in your energy? No. Treat this person with a, with a small, small handle spoon and say what the fuck you need to say and walk away. I'm hearing that song, say what you need to say. Say what you need to say to these people who you can't trust and get them out of your energy field. Because they don't need to be there. They don't need to be there. <clears throat> okay, y'all. I think I'm going to end it. And I got some personal readings, like I said, I got to do. And... Maybe be, be back with a little, a small reading a little bit later. And we will just go from there. But I'm going to get a final message for you. Your near future reading, what's coming up. What do you need to know? Here we are again. You earn your stripes and be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. You earn your stripes. That person was kicked out of your life because they didn't need to be there in the first place. And you held on much, much more longer than you needed to. Be honest with yourself. Ain't that the truth? It's time for healing, not war. I can't tell you how many times this card has came out for you all at the end of a reading. To remind you, it's time to heal, not fight. Especially with yourself. Okay? Alright, talk to y'all later.